The Crow by John Burroughs. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Drake of Long Branch, New Jersey. 1. My friend and neighbor through the year, self appointed overseer of my crops of fruit and grain, of my woods and furrowed plain, claim thy tidings right and left. I shall never call it theft. Nature wisely made the law, and I fail to find a flaw in thy title to the earth, and all it holds of any worth. I like thy self-complacent air. I like thy ways so free from care. Thy landlord stroll about my fields, quickly noting what each yields. Thy courtly mien and bearing bold, as if thy claim were bought with gold thy floating shape against the sky when days are calm and clouds are high thy thrifty flight ere rise of sun thy homing clans when day is done hues protective are not thine so sleek thy coat each quill does shine diamond black to end of toe thy counterpoint the crystal snow Two never plaintive nor appealing quite at home when thou art stealing always groomed to tip of feather calm and trim in every weather hawk and owl in treetop hiding feel the shame of thy deriding naught escapes thy observation none but dread thy accusation three Hunters, prowlers, woodland lovers vainly seek the leafy covers. Noisy, scheming, and predacious, with demeanor almost gracious. Dowered with leisure, void of hurry, void of fuss, and void of worry. Friendly banded Robin Hood, judge and jury of the wood. Or Captain Kidd of Sable Quill, hiding treasures in the hill. Nature made thee for each season, gave thee wit for ample reason, good crow wit that's always burnished like the coat her hair has furnished. May thy numbers ne'er diminish, I'll befriend thee till life's finish. May I never cease to meet thee, may I never have to eat thee, and mayest thou never have to fare, so that thou playest the part of a scarecrow. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.